Brianna Duncan here with your forecast this Saturday evening as we head on into our Mother's Day for Sunday. Right now, looking on our radar, you can see clear and dry conditions all across central Alabama. Highs today, pretty warm. Tuscaloosa saw 81, Demopolis 82, Montgomery also seeing 81. A little bit cooler for our friends in Haleyville and Coleman, both in those lower and mid 70s. Pretty quiet all across of our tri state area, you know, Georgia, Alabama. Mississippi, Florida, all looking kind of dry, kind of boring, but gorgeous sunny weather at, at least. You know, t Tennessee seeing some rain and some clouds, but for us, quiet conditions. If we zoom out a little bit, can't say the same for all of the United States. You can see in more northern states that you can see some snow, you can see some rain, but for us, stay, things will stay pretty quiet today, tonight, and tomorrow morning. But as we go on throughout tomorrow afternoon, some rain gets into your forecast. Taking a look at temperatures starting off your morning in the upper 50s will warm up into the mid 80s by tomorrow. Clouds accumulating throughout the day, and I'm going to track this out for you. This is right now 8 p.m. around Saturday, and then this is tomorrow morning. You can see somewhat clear skies, especially in eastern Alabama. Remember, this is just model. It doesn't mean that Selma is going to be mostly cloudy and then Greensboro, South Greensboro is going to be clear. That's not what we're looking at. We're looking at a model. So partly cloudy skies tomorrow morning. These clouds will kind of accumulate throughout the day. Might even see kind of a clear moment in between these times. This is Sunday at 730. This is right where we start to see these this rain and these storms begin to move through our area. This will start like I said, tomorrow evening, move through overnight. So it's important to have that weather radio handy. Go ahead and go to sleep. There's no tornado risks per se tomorrow night as of right now. But don't be surprised if you see a severe thunderstorm in that, some gusty winds, potentially some hail. This is overnight still. This is Monday at 1.30 in the morning. You can see this line of rain and storms moving through the state. Be out of the way by Monday morning. This is 8 a.m. on Monday. Most of it out of our way, but still holding on to some showers and some parts of southern Alabama and a little bit of central Alabama and then some spotty showers all across central Alabama by 1 30 on Monday going throughout your Monday afternoon rain still really sticking around and rain sticks around for the next five days unfortunately we have at least somewhat of a rain chance every day until Thursday Tomorrow, of course, during the daytime, relatively low, like I was talking about. We're mainly concerned about tomorrow afternoon, evening hours into Monday. Those early morning Monday hours and overnight into Monday is really where we're going to see that rain and those storms become, become a risk for central Alabama. On Tuesday and Wednesday, both about a 50% chance of rain, then goes down a bit on Thursday. Tonight, it'll be a nice evening, kind of a mild evening. Those clouds accumulating into some of our areas. Temperatures in the upper 50s, and tomorrow, temperatures like I said, in the mid to lower 80s for your Mother's Day. Partly cloudy with some evening rain, like I mentioned. But for the daytime, like I mentioned tomorrow, it's going to be pretty okay. You might see a stray shower, you know, those accumulating clouds. Your main concern for your Mother's Day forecast is going to be in this afternoon and evening hours, specifically starting around 6, 7 p.m. That's when those showers and storms will start to move into our area and really impact us as that band of rain and storms comes through overnight into Monday. Monday.